Hi there, Wendy Schultz, CEO and founder of The Simple Life Hospitality. Wanted to give you a quick tip today about how to spot a scam when you are um, renting out your property. Now, I don't know how to do it if you are booking a property, so this is not the video for you if you're trying to figure out how to not get scammed. Honestly, I don't know what kinds of scams are out there. But what I do know are some of the scams that are out there for property owners when people are trying to book your property. So um, what we typically will see is an inquiry that says, hey, are these dates available? when clearly they are available because they were able to select the time, they were able to see that it wasn't um, blocked, but they still will say, hey, can I request, are these dates open? Of course you respond, yes, they're available. And then the next thing they're gonna say is either, I wanna book direct with you, and or um, my company wants to send a cashier's check and just let me know where I need to send it. Those are two, really big red flags and we do not um, do any of those. Um, what people are trying to do is you know, send you some kind of fraudulent um, type of, of check or whatever. I don't know exactly. We've never actually gone any further than that. That was the first immediate red flag. Do not go any further with this booking. Um, another thing that we had, and this was actually down in properties down in Florida, is that we had some fraudulent guests and what they did, and this is actually quite common in Florida, we found out from the police um, that this happens, but people will use a um, fraudulent credit card and they will do a last minute booking and they will be really rushed in, the, in this um, process. And so what happened is we actually had a booking, uh, two bookings in a row, on, unfortunately. But we had a booking where the um, credit card declined. However, we didn't see that it had declined. And they requested the, um, they requested the details right away, the check-in details. And we sent them. And not knowing that hadn't declined, this is, didn't seem like a very abnormal thing. Now we know that's a red flag. Two red flags right away. Give me the check-in details and... The credit card declines. Well, the credit card declined, and the um, the code the code on that door had not been changed yet. So we um, unfortunately, this person had the the details, but they kept using different people's cards. So at the end of the day, we didn't actually have the person who booked the um, the the condo. We didn't have that person's credit card. We had their, her sister's credit card. And um, that ran through, no problem. However, those people stayed, they partied, they smoked, they broke a window, and thankfully it wasn't anything worse than that. However, when we got the charges, we tried to charge them for these things, but it was a fraudulent card. Or actually it wasn't fraudulent, it was a stolen card. They had stolen it from someone. So of course, when that person found that on their credit card statement, they charged it back to us. So we were out of luck. That happened twice in a row before we knew what was going on. And the second person was even trickier. They had given us a passport, a fraudulent passport that actually had the name on it. But there was one red flag on there that we had not seen. And it was that the name on the passport had one missing letter or had one extra letter, I can't remember which way it went, than the booking. So probably a hmm should, you know, now that we know that, we um, wouldn't do that. But last minute booking, declined credit card, wanting to send um, payment through some other way than the booking platform uh, or a cashier's check, wanting to book direct, and um, wanting information really, really quickly. So those are some ways to make sure that you're avoiding getting scammed. Um, now that we know about it, we are much more on alert. However, these people are pretty tricky, so it could happen. Thankfully, it didn't, um, you know, didn't harm us too much. Unfortunately, we didn't get paid for that booking. I made a little bit of damage just to pay for, but it could have been so much worse. So that's my tip for today. Hope you avoid getting scammed in the future. Have a great day. Thanks. Bye.